Oh, as if them turning into bugs and dinosaurs isn't enough. No, give them more! Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design DK29 Gear Master Accessory Set. So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice little image of our Beastie Boys and Girl DK29 Gear Master Accessory Series on this side, DK29 on this side, DK29 on the top, DK29 on the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the accessory set for our Kingdom Beastie Boys and Girl. And here is everything you get with the kit, and it ranges from this is really cool to this is going to live in a drawer. Now again, this is an accessory set, it's not an upgrade kit, there's only one actual upgrade here, everything else is just purely accessories, just some fun here. So basically you get um, all of Dinobot's Rambo gear, you get some new Dino Mode hands, you get Black Arachnia's visor, you get a golden disc, and you get a piece for Scorponok that I don't like at all, that's what's going to live in a drawer. But without further ado, let's get down to it and show off how all of this works. So now let's start off with the least interesting bit, and that is the piece for Scorponok, and this is all you get for him. That's a uh, little piece right here and what you're meant to do with this is you're supposed to take out this little guy out of his claw pop him out and he is supposed to then slide onto this like so so now you get that look going on and then if you want to you can bump the camera sorry about that you can take this and there's a tab right here there's a slot right there in primal's chest and it doesn't really hold in but you know you could just put it there and then primal can be all like oh my god get this off me you bugs you and that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much it so cool, isn't it? So cool. Not really. I don't like it. I don't really like it one bit. <laughs> but, you know, that's what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, will this fit in here? I actually didn't even test to see if this would fit in here. Nah, a little too big for all that to fit in the claw. It's a little bit more than the, uh, than the claw can handle there. So, yeah, no. But you can store this minus this piece. You can store this in... Uh, in robot mode anyway. You can just open up his chest and that will just store right in here. You just plug it in. Like so, you use those tabs on the sides and there are little grooves in there in his chest. You just pop it in there and even that doesn't hold on too well. And there you just plug that in there, close up his chest and that's where it lives. Um, you do have to remove it for scorpion mode. You can't transform him with this in, in scorpion mode because it takes up real estate that the leg needs to go into. So it doesn't even work for the alt mode. So yeah, it's just, I, do, I don't, I don't like it, but Hey, I think you can do if you want to do it. So that is it for Scorponok. So let's move on. And next up is Miss Black Arachnia and all we get for her is uh, her visor here. When she wants to cosplay as Jordy LaForge, I'm, I, I know what it's for. But, it's just, but there it is. It's done in gray with some green there. You have the, uh, the cable that leads to the scent piece here, which is actually nicely done. Now, how this works is you just take this and just snap it over her head. You want to make sure it snaps down over the, uh, the yellow here. So you have to push down until it snaps into place. It's a bit tight, but it's doable. Just push it down and it should it should snap right down oops and you'll pop all her legs off in the process there we go <laughs> we didn't want that that wasn't part that wasn't part of the process that wasn't part that wasn't part of the installation there we go but there she is now with her visor on looking stylish looking sexy she can hold that too and do all kinds of things and stuff and that is it and this does not factor into the spider mode. This is purely a robot mode thing, so that's that's what you can do with it. 
And you know, maybe we can, you know, we can take the sand and we can abuse Primal some more, just jab it in his chest. He'll be like, oh no, more bugs, I hate bugs, you know, again, things you can do if you want to do it, so. There you have that for Black Arachnia, so moving on. And last, but certainly not least, here we have Dinobot, and Dinobot gets pretty much everything else in this kit. This is pretty much a Dinobot kit, more than anything. Um, so first, we'll show off the, uh, the golden disc that is included here. The Sounds of Earth. Beautiful. Lovely. Nice and gold. I love gold! And you get this little trans-clearing holder for it, and you just slide that on, and that allows you to then plug it into his hand. So you can then hold said disc, which is quite nice. Um, you do also get a little stand for it, so you can just plug this onto the stand like so, and you can have the disc on display. Again, nice little touch there, I appreciate that. And this is the only real upgrade you get with this kit. Um, we get some new hands for his Dino Mode. And see, nicely detailed there. And these will replace the old ones, which didn't look that good, and also were just stuck in this weird position, which I don't think anybody liked. So, installation of this is pretty easy. You just pop off the old one, you pop on the new one, just pop it onto the ball joint. It is quite stiff, but it's pop onable. And there we go, we got that popped in, and now you have this extra hinge here. So now you have some actual posability there in the hands, and it could be a little bit more expressive and be like, Meh, you know. So, yeah, nice little addition there. Um, I'm not going to transform him because that's this is all you're getting. You're just getting some more posable hands there for the dyno mode, and then for robot mode, they just tuck right in as they originally did stuck into the body, like so. And there you go. And everything tucks in just as it did before. So, there you have that. And you also get all of his uh, Rambo gear. So you get uh, two bandoliers here. And these are made of rubber. You get a big old club here, a hammer, which looks quite nice. You get this big old rifle right here. It's done in black and gray. You get two pistols. And we get these pieces here. We got three of these actually. You get a spare, but you only need two. You get these pieces here to attach the uh, the guns to his person. So let's show off how all this works. Now first we'll start off with the bandoliers. So you just wrap these across his chest. You want to make sure that these holes here end up at the sides of his waist. So you just take this and just wrap it around. And you just line it up and secure it into place. You have multiple slots there you can feed that through. And you just get that all secured up. And there he is with his bandoliers on. Again, you just wrap those around like so. Um, you get the two pistols, and these will just plug into his hands. They're a bit of a snug fit, but he will hold them. At least they won't fall out. Right, 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 right. So there you go. So you can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff right there. Now, if you don't want him holding the guns, well, he can store them, because you get these little bits... You stand, you stand because it's normal. You get these bits right here and the purpose these serve is you will tab these into these little slots right here. So you plug that into one and then you plug this into the other. Just make sure that they are angled like that and it will plug into these holes right here. So you just kind of push those in and just pop those in, like so, and then you can have them stored at his side, like so, and that's pretty cool. I like that. And of course, you can give him the big old rifle, and you have 
the post right there, that'll plug into his hand, and he can hold that for maximum pew-pewing and bang-banging, and you can also give him, you know, give him the big hammer too, why not? Dare I say, why not? If you're gonna have all this firepower, why not have a hammer too? Why not? Why not? Dare I say, why not? Just plug that in like so, and there you go. Now Dinobot is ready for war. And that's pretty cool in my opinion. This I really like. I really dig all this. This is what really makes the kit worth it as far as I'm concerned, so... Mm, there you go! So there you have the Gear Master accessory set, and uh, yeah, it's a nice kit. It's mostly a Dinobot kit, but hey, I appreciate it. All the stuff you get for Dinobot is really cool. I love the upgraded uh, Dino Mode hands. The visor for Black Arachnia, that's a nice little touch, and that piece for Scorponok is going to live in a drawer, if not just go in the trash can, I don't really care about that. But overall, yeah, a nice set of just some extra bits and pieces for your Beast Wars characters, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DNA Design DK29 Gear Master Accessory Set. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face!